This I wanna nail sports to the one Top vlog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Yeah man my viewers and subscribers Just drop off wifey at work And heading back home So I decided that I just gonna talk to you guys for a little bit now, what I want to talk to you guys about is um, an article that I saw on the Sportsmax website. Now, the article was basically dealing with uh, our, our master blaster, our former top cricketer, um, Sir Vivian Richards. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers. And he was basically giving his take on the Shemron Hetmeyer situation. We all know that boy Hetmeyer is going through a tough time right now. You know, based on the fact that he wasn't able to secure a contract and he hasn't been playing any cricket for um, for West Indies for quite some time now. So, uh, Viv Richards, we all know Viv Richards. When that man speaks, everybody stops and listens. So, he was just giving his take on um, the, the whole Hetmeyer thing. Now, um, I'm going to give you a direct quote that, you know, I, I actually took from Sir Viv. Now, Sir Viv is quoted as saying he has to take a more mature look and, you know, he's too playful. Yeah, man. So, Sir Viv Richards is saying that um, Hetmeyer needs to take a more mature look on the game and he, at times he's too playful on the field. Yeah, man. So, Viv is saying that, boy, sometimes he's watching Hetmeyer playing the game and when he's on the field, he's behaving just, as like, just like a little kid. You know, saying that boy, you need to be more mature, and I I start to see that aspect of um of Hitmaya, but I usually take it as him just enjoying himself. The only thing that I don't like is sometimes he might put down a catch or a misfeel, and he's there smiling, probably just, probably to himself he's just smiling, saying that boy, he almost got it or he missed it. You know, but um, Sir Viv is saying that boy. Hetmeyer definitely needs to take a more mature look on his career and he needs to stop being so playful on the field so that is basically what um, Sir Viv is saying and um, yeah man boy Viv is saying that boy it is, it is sort of very um, you know it is not good or it is not pleasing to see such a youngster at age 24 with so much talent not being able to, to, to secure his contract and to be a main stay in the team based on, based on his talent. So, yeah, man, this is something that we would have discussed on several occasions, um, guys, you know, talking about Hetmeyer not being able to secure a contract and thing. And um, I must say that why well, I am hoping that this is just um, something that will be a, a, you know, a wake up call for him. Because as much as I am with players getting an opportunity to go out there and um, play franchise cricket, um, I, am always, I am always thinking that boy, West Indies cricket comes first. It's not like I am not. Um, at no point in time have I ever said that West Indies cricket comes after. Our cricket comes first because at the end of the day, the different franchises that you are playing for, they can just, um, they can just terminate a contract at any point. And then you will have to return to West Indies cricket. So I am thinking that a man supposed to um, try his best to make the team. When you make the team and you are a part of the team and you are doing well, then you can negotiate and try to get, um, see if you get um, them to give you cut a little slack so you can um, you can go and play some franchise cricket. Similarly to how I was talking about Jason Hola. You know, you want him to be playing for us, but at the same time, you want, you know, you, you, you want you want players to have a little room to go and play the franchise cricket. So I am hoping that Hetmeyer is not putting the franchise cricket ahead of West Indies cricket. So that is that is um my take on the situation. Now, um, you know, Viv is saying that boy right now, he thinks that Hetmeyer needs to put in the work as it regards to his fitness. Because um, I am going to give you a direct quote once again from what Viv said. Viv is quoted as saying that it, boy, it is very um, disappointing and very unprofessional for players to be um, failing fitness tests when this is something that they are doing for a career, for a job, especially when you are such a youngster. So Viv is saying that 
boy at age 24 there is no way Hetmaya should be failing a simple fitness test that is there for um, for 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 players that are you know that are professional so I can understand what Vivi is saying my um, viewers and subscribers so why it's not like we it's not like we're cutting head my slack you know but I was thinking that's a boy you know they they they, 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 they not not to bend backwards for any cricketer but a youngster like Hetmeyer at his age that is so talented you don't just want to leave him in the wind you understand I mean you're not going baby baby up a man and let him believe say boy he is the beginning and the end of West Indies cricket you know but when you see a youngster that is able to that you think might be able to to start to um, take us back to, a, to a basically a good um, stand in West Indies cricket you want to make sure that uh, you give that youngster as much opportunity to, to basically um, put himself in, in, in place you understand you know it's, it's not like say boy you're going pet up a man or a baby a man or anything but you, you don't want to leave a man to the wind if you, if you get what I'm saying my viewers and subscribers um, just bear with me I'm driving so this thing is sort of tilting every now and again so I have to be putting it back in place yeah man yeah so that, that, that is how it is my viewers and subscribers as it regards so a whole lot of persons um, going out and, and talking about um, Shimran Hitmeyer you know showing how concerned they are saying that boy they definitely need to see some improvement from him um there, there's a lot of quote um quote that can be taken from this article you know because another um direct quote that i'm going to take from what sir viv say um said is that boy you know viv was saying that boy in 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 this thing if you take shortcut then you will get short returns so yeah man <laughs> Apparently he's saying that you know Hitmaya is taking shortcut as he regards to his fitness and as he regards to his career. So you know he's saying that boy, if you take shortcuts, then boy you're gonna expect short returns. And I guess he's referring to the fact that Hitmaya is now out of the team. You understand? So um boy, my viewers and subscribers, all we can do is wait and see what is going to happen as he regards to Hitmaya and um, West Indies cricket. As, ever, um, as I have always said my viewers and subscribers I want things to I want Hitmeyer to be a part of the setup but at the end of the day a man have to want it also you understand you, 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 you man, the player have to want it you can't want something for your person more than how they want it for themselves you know? so you might want it for Hitmeyer and um, then Hitmeyer don't want it as much as how you would want it for him yeah man, I'm actually making my way past the National Stadium though my viewers and subscribers where boys and girls champs is going on Yeah man, so early in the morning they're probably getting themselves together to start the morning events So yeah man, my viewers and subscribers um, Sir Viv just giving his two cents as he regards to Hetmaya and the situation that he's going through So um, boy my viewers and subscribers we just have to hope that um, Hetmeyer will bounce back because at the end of the day, as I always said, you know, it doesn't really matter to me what Caribbean a man, what um, Caribbean country a man is from. Once a man is good enough, I am always going to want that man to be a part of a team. So we definitely um, can't give up on Hetmeyer where certain things is concerned, alright? So yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers. And at the age of 24, no, my viewers and subscribers. Vivi is saying that Hetmeyer definitely needs to take a look at himself because if he doesn't take a look at himself then you know you can imagine that um you know he, he, he his career will pass him by sooner than he, he even realized. You understand my viewers and subscribers. Um so that is what um Sir Vivi is saying. You know, um Hetmeyer definitely needs to take a look at himself because at age 24, if he's not um, serious right now then things aren't going to be falling in place for him um, you start getting some shades um, shade guys because I start to park up in the in the sun right now so it's not as clear as it was before but I'm basically wrapping up the video now so yeah man my viewers and subscribers and you know um, as I said Hitmeyer has too much talent to not be um, serious about his cricket well, not not saying that he's not serious because <laughs> when he's playing over there in the IPL, he, he looks really serious to me. 
So um, I don't know what the what the problem is as it regards to West Indies um, cricket. Um, so we just have to keep our fingers crossed, my viewers and subscribers. And once we see so many past cricketers coming in and um, making their their voices heard, then you can just imagine that persons are not um, pleased. And not only that, they, they can see the talent. Because for somebody like Aviv to come out and you know and to and to be talking, then simple means that you know the talent that it my possesses, it is evident. And that is why people are actually talking and hoping that he will get himself together. But my viewers and subscribers, all we can do is just hope that Hitmaya will wake up and smell the coffee as they would say here. You know, the, the youngster is extremely talented. And um, as I said earlier, you can't want something for your man more than how he wanted for himself. So we just have to keep our fingers crossed that he will, he will, he will um, turn around. But there are a whole lot of persons coming out now, my viewers and subscribers, and talking about this Hetmeyer situation. So one have to hope that he will definitely take heed right now, and you know he will, he will definitely get himself in order. But as it regards to that story, my viewers and subscribers, that is basically it. And just to cap off the video, my viewers, um, cause you know we said um, boys and girls champs going on, so we have to dive in that a little bit. So the boys and girls champs is up and running. Um, yesterday we had a couple of um, couple of interesting races. Um, we I think we had the, the hundred meter um, the, the earlier staging of the of the hundred meter events. Um, uh, Kingston College looking pretty pretty good. I think JC got a couple. Um, as it regards to the girls, Edwin Edwin Allen and Saint Diego out there doing pretty well. Um, Stets actually is doing very good also. So, you know we are we are keeping close eye on the situation there as it develops. But we know how champs goes. It is usually the, the second to last and the last days that um they usually they usually get um that they usually they usually get um you know more exciting <laughs> just a couple of the elder people in the in the scheme you're doing their exercises so they just pass and call in to me so yeah man my viewers and subscribers um so make sure that you are keeping a close eye eye on what is happening there as it regards to the to the to the boys and girls championship all right sports to the bone keeping you informed guys please remember to like and share the videos comment on the videos and if you have not yet subscribed what are you waiting for? I mean, the content is good. According to you guys, the content is good. So why are you just watching it? Go ahead and smash the subscription button, man. Peace. I'm out. Big up on yourself.